a sunny day, we want to check out, as many people requested, uh, the Huawei Mate 60 Pro against the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. Here you can see the specs on screen with the main highlights being the variable aperture 50 megapixel sensor on the Huawei and the one inch sized 50 megapixel sensor on the Xiaomi. They also feature um, periscope zoom and they also have a good ultra wide angle and the Xiaomi even one sensor more, another telezoom that is very good for portraits. And then we have front facing cameras as well, as you can see here. And we start off with the front facing videos. And we start off with the Xiaomi 13 Ultra to just get it out of the way. 1080p recording only. At least we have 1080p 60 frames per second. And I'm using this right now, even though I'm working with a 30 timeline, which is a bit of cumbersome, but it gets you the best quality here on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra front facing camera. We don't have any zoom option on this. So how does it look like? Also, I think it's a bit overexposing the sky in the background, but nicely exposing my face, I think. So what do you think about the front-facing camera here on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra? And this is now recording with the Huawei Mate 60 Pro and the default front-facing camera, 0.8 times magnification, 4K 30, but you can also record 4K 60 frames per second, which is quite good. You can see already in the background that we have better HDR. So my face when I'm directly in the sun is a bit red so I think the exposure adjustment is a bit slow there but we can go to one time zoom if you want to or we can go to ultra wide angle which looks like this so what do you think about this one I think the ultra wide angle is a little bit unstable so the stabilization is not as good as with the 0.8 times and I think the 0.8 times looks good enough so what do you think about the front facing video here which one is the winner now the highlight of the Xiaomi 13 ultra the one inch type sensor that we have here which gives you nice background blur good stabilization and I think also, the colors are very, very good. So what do you think about this one here? We can record 4K 30, which I'm doing right now, 4K 60 or even 8K recording, though I think there's no stabilization at 8K. When I'm recording 4K, of course, I have the possibility to just zoom out. I have a zoom slider there and I can zoom out to the uh, ultra wide angle, which can also record 4K 30 without any issues, as you can see here. So what we want to do right now is perform a little zoom test. And this will be a bit of a different zoom test. We want to zoom on one particular side and we have two zoom lenses here on the Xiaomi. So let's take a look at here. Uh, my little dog is also there, as you can see here. He wants to run around, but he has to be a bit patient because I'm doing the zoom test here. So let's try to zoom in and you will see in a few seconds yeah, this will be also a stabilization test because Timmy is really, really aggressive today. Two times zoom, 2.8 times it switched lenses. And now at five times it also switched lenses and we're going up to 15 times zoom, which is the maximum for the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. Timmy, ruhig. And uh, yeah, there we can see the sign of the playground there. In German it's called Spielplatz. And yeah, can you read it? What do you think about the zoom here? And now we have the 15 times zoom here on the Huawei Mate 60 Pro and also with Timmy as a yeah, anti-stabilization test. And we can slowly go to the 10 times that we reach now. And uh, then we are at four times. It switched lenses roughly. And now we are reaching one times which is the main camera sensor which is now set to f4 i think uh, f2 i think it can go up to f4 if it wants to and sometimes in low light it will even go and open up wide to f1.4 what do you think about the background blur stabilization colors and so on and of course 4k 30 i can also record 4k 60 but i don't have 8k recording on this one here how stabilization how's focus and now we're going switching to the ultra wide angle if my dog allows me to do press the button there we go the ultra wide angle i'm walking towards the sun you will see now what will happen with my face probably a bit red and i think it will adjust uh, in a second as well so what do you think about this video here the ultra wide angle and uh, 4k 30. Uh, front video face comparison on the left the xiaomi 13 ultra on the right the mate 60 pro what we can see here directly is we have better HDR, we have overexposure here in the background on the Xiaomi completely and we don't have this so much here on the um, Mate. And when I go further, you can see the Mate has some issues with, if, with this HDR. My face gets at one point very red 
where when I'm in the sun here it looks much more natural on the Xiaomi. Otherwise, yeah, the 1080p cannot really compete against the 4K image. It's just simply a little bit better, this 4K image. And yeah, the together with the sharper and more HDR kind of look, it's a clear win for the Mate 60 Pro when it comes to front-facing videos. What gets pretty interesting is, I think, the main camera sensor here. So let's go first and check out the zoom that is at the end here of the Xiaomi video. And what we can see here is a clearer, a better zoom capability on Xiaomi. So let's zoom in a little bit. This is how it looks like there on Xiaomi. And this is how it looks on the Mate 60 Pro. So you can see there's a little bit less detail on the Mate 60 Pro for sure and uh, the Xiaomi is better in this regards. And when we zoom in, when we zoom in, when I go back to the main camera sensor and compare this with the main camera sensor here, we get a very interesting kind of feel. Both have good HDR, both have good colors, but this kind of warmer kind of color we have definitely on the Mate. You can see here it's a bit of reddish kind of face here we have a bit of more greenish warmish yellowish kind of face and when we take a look at the bokeh on first glance it looks very very similar but when you like go in and you take a look at the bokeh it's very very smooth on the xiaomi where here it's a bit more busy on the huawei for sure so yes the even when I get to f1.4 on the Huawei, it cannot compete against the one inch size sensor with f1.9 on the Xiaomi that just produces a little bit of smoother image there. But when we go to the ultra wide angle, what we can see is that both are very, very cool in this regard. The Xiaomi is a bit wider, 12 millimeters instead of 13 millimeters, but you can see it gets soft, especially here in the, uh, on the edges there. The middle is, I think, sharp enough. The HDR is also working fine there, where the uh, Mate is mm, sharper all over the place, but has a little bit of chromatic aberrations that you can see here and there. And also, yeah, the HDR has sometimes this issue with the uh, red kind of face. Uh, nevertheless, it will change again to a normal kind of face but you will see that uh, both are doing a pretty fine job when it comes to the ultra wide angle where i prefer the um, xiaomi by a little there uh, from the face color for sure especially when it comes to exposure changes and so on it's very very quick but the hdr is definitely better especially with overexposure background here you can see it is not overexposed there where here it is overexposed on the Xiaomi. So all over the place, I think the ultra wide angle for video is a win for the Mate 60 Pro as well. What do you think about this one? The photos on the left, always the Xiaomi 13 Ultra, on the right always the Mate 60 Pro. I was a bit surprised, both can keep up with my dog, but the Xiaomi 13 Ultra, when you take a look at 100%, it's a bit clearer than the Mate 60 Pro. And usually the Xiaomi 13 Ultra is way faster than the Mate 60 Pro with shutter speed and getting the dog in action where the Mate 60 Pro has a bit of an issue. But if it's daylight and a lot of sun there, then the Mate 60 Pro definitely can keep up. 3.5 against 3.2 times zoom, the Xiaomi 13 Ultra with 3.2 times zoom and the Mate 60 Pro with 3.5 times zoom. You can see a lot more sharpened up and uh, the Xiaomi 13 Ultra much more softer and I think in general also a little bit more contrasty kind of look on the Mate 60 Pro interestingly enough probably to help with the sharpness but both pretty fine there uh, when it comes to the free times zoom 10 times zoom the same picture the over sharpening or sharpening things up on the mate 60 pro is doing its thing and we can see here clearly that it has some artificial sharpening some chromatic aberrations where the xiaomi 13 ultra is a bit softer in general but more natural looking for sure and uh, not so much chromatic aberrations and uh, yeah not so much over sharpening and contrast when we take a look at 30 times zoom, it becomes apparent that the Xiaomi 13 Ultra's 5 times zoom lens is just simply superior here in this case, um, especially when it comes to 
these kinds of things much more clearer, much more natural, where the Mate 60 Pro really has to struggle there with its algorithms. And also what you can see is that the Mate 60 Pro is a bit closer up because we have the uh, 30 times zoom up on 27 millimeters, so it's like a bit uh, instead of 24 millimeters because this is they're cropping in by default on Huawei. Ultra wide angle, very interesting because here I think that the Mate 60 Pro has better HDR. You can see it in the shadow details, but also in uh, the brighter areas, which are much more overexposed on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. And then we can see a color difference as well, much more punchier colors on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra, the Mate 60 Pro a lot better. Also clearer here, you can see much more details in the pavement, which is like a little bit smush, smudged out on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. The Xiaomi 13 Ultra, however, maybe you didn't notice it at first, but here, look, look at the window there and look at here. It is wider. Yes, it is 12 millimeters instead of 30 millimeters. It's also written down there. Uh, helps, I think. And uh, in terms of sharpness and, and clarity in the middle, I think it's still holding up good for a 12 millimeter one. But the Mate 60 Pro is simply better with HDR again, but also with detail levels and sharpness. I think it is a little bit sharpening things up in the background, but it is like not looking too artificial, which is, I think, nice. So here overall, I would give the Mate 60 Pro the win. When it comes to the main camera sensor, very interesting. This is the default profile. Uh, Xiaomi 13 Ultra with Leica Authentic and Mate 60 Pro with the Xmatch Original. Um, and yeah, both doing a fine job. A little bit brighter here, I think, on the Mate 60 Pro. A bit darker on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. Um, but in terms of detail levels and so on, very, very comparable. I don't see much of a difference. This is very interesting because sometimes I see like a little bit of overexposure there, a little less overexposure. I think uh, the Xiaomi struggles a little bit with uh, the HDR again, where the Mate is better. Also here in terms of like detail levels, I think it is sharpened up for sure, where the Xiaomi 13 Ultra keeps things a little bit more soft and more DSLR-like, but it is not looking completely unnatural on the Mate 6. Pro, like um, the S23 Ultra by default, by the, for example, which is like pronouncing too much or introducing too much sharpness in there. On the other hand, we can see also the opposite, like a little bit overexposure here and a little bit struggling with HDR there. So this is something that you have to keep in mind. When we take a look at like a Vibrant, it becomes a little bit better there. So the HDR gets a little bit better, but we still have a little bit of more punchy colors. And uh, the yeah, brightening things up here in the foreground as well. The Mate 60 Pro has also a vivid mode, which looks like this. And this looks very, very comparable. But here, the vivid mode on the Mate 60 Pro is adding a little bit more contrast to the scene. So we see much more darker shadows. Otherwise, yeah, it is basically on par. I don't see much of a difference. The blues in the sky look almost the same. In the background, you can see a bit of a bluish uh, tint on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra that overall is a bit more bluish and the Mate 60 Pro has like a more a warmish kind of look. You can see it here in the background especially and uh, yeah very comparable not much of a difference here a little bit more punchy colors maybe on the Mate 60 Pro because of the vivid mode. Uh, when it comes to the uh, Macro mode, ultra wide angle is used on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. The Mate 60 Pro can utilize its telezoom lens and this is the uh, macro mode that you can get with the ultra wide angle on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra and the Mate 60 Pro. I was focusing on the foreground because I was so close to the flower that I have to choose a, f uh, a focus point. As you can see, the rest is already out of focus, which is quite interesting. You can see some sharpening artifacts here or HDR artifacts uh, on the, in the background there for sure. I took another shot here. Also, I think very, very cool that you can get so many details here on this flower and this year especially very very cool especially here now in the middle like focused one thing that you will notice is uh, a different kind of uh, color and this is both were in the shadow because the flower was in the shadow so it's not casting a shadow or something like this when i zoom out it looks almost the same but when i zoom in you will see that we have much more orangey kind of look on the xiaomi 13 ultra which is wrong because the flower was yellow and not orangey so i think the mate 60 pro has better color reproduction here as well so the macro mode jeff definitely goes to the mate 60 pro thanks to its tele macro capabilities when it comes to the selfie cam and portrait mode so with bokeh enabled the mate 60 pro is doing a better job there with HDR on first glance. I think the Xiaomi 13 Ultra is um, better exposing my face because it looks like more pleasant to the eye there. 
where here we have a bit more contrasty kind of look on the Mate 60 Pro. But when it comes to detail levels, the Mate 60 Pro is blowing the Xiaomi 13 Ultra out of the water here. The Xiaomi 13 Ultra has a higher resolution for sure uh, with 32 megapixels, but still when I zoom out, even like a little bit more out than on the Mate 60 Pro, you can see that the detail levels on the Mate 60 Pro are just beating the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. So yes, when it comes to selfies, take the Mate 60 Pro. Ultra wide angle, another comparison where you can clearly see now the difference between 12 millimeters, look at the wall here, and 30 millimeters, look at the wall there. Yes, granted I had like this uh, watermark on, but doesn't really matter comes to sharpness here is very interesting because here I think we have a bit of overexposure on the Mate 60 Pro where the Xiaomi 13 Ultra handles this a little bit better. But when it comes to sharpness level, look at the tree. Again, yes, Mate 60 Pro is doing artificial sharpening as well, but it's not looking unpleasant there in this case. It's not over sharpened, let's say like this. It's like sharpening up the right amount and it looks just simply sharper and more detailed on the Mate 60 Pro. Yes, the Xiaomi 13 Ultra is wider and it's impressive for what it can do, but overall I would give the win to the Mate 60 Pro, um, both when it comes to the, the, the edge um, unsharpness or distortion, basically on par, not much of a difference. You can see here a bit of like overexposure on the Mate 60 Pro again, and a bit more punchy colors on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. And then we come to indoor portrait shot uh, using the main camera sensor. Very interesting because here I think the Xiaomi 13 Ultra for some reason uh, did a misfocus slightly. So my doc is, dog's face is not really in focus. Usually I would expect the Xiaomi 13 Ultra's uh, one inch sensor to win here against the Mate 60 Pro. Mate 60 Pro is much warmer, much more cooler and greenish kind of um, color cast on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra here for some reason. And uh, yeah, it looks, appears to be a bit sharper on the Mate 60 Pro. So for some reason, the Mate 60 Pro has one here in terms of sharpness at least. But when it comes to bokeh, very, very comparable in this uh, regard. But let's take a look at uh, bokeh a little bit closer here. This is the default setting and don't mind me not being 100% sharp here on the Mate 60 Pro. I think I missed focus a little bit there. And uh, we have a bit of uh, brighter exposure here on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra for sure. Less contrasty kind of look. And uh, yeah, it nailed the shot, but look at the bokeh and the bokeh balls and the difference there. It's apparent that the Xiaomi 13 Ultra is using a one inch type sensor. The Mate 60 Pro is not. And this is at F2 on the Mate 60 Pro. We can also go to F1.4 at the Mate 60 Pro. And then it becomes more and more comparable, but it's still uh, obvious that the Xiaomi 13 Ultra has the smoother bokeh ball, smoother bokeh overall. And uh, where the Mate 60 Pro against the Magic 5 Pro was still very, very neck to neck. Here, I think you can clearly see one inch uh, type sensor superiority when it comes to the bokeh balls. And yes, um, Mate 60 Pro still has some HDR weirdness going on there in the background where yes, it's a bit overexposed on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra for sure, but doesn't look so weird. Look at this uh, HDR there in the background. So yes, this is something that uh, Huawei still has to work on in this HDR. I think a little bit too aggress aggressive in this case and doing some weird stuff there. So what do you think? Which one is the clear winner? I think the Xiaomi 13 Ultra has a slightly better sensor with this one inch better bokeh there. Sometimes it misfocused, which is interesting, where I don't have this issue on the Mate 60 Pro. So I think the Mate 60 Pro might have a little bit better focus here and there. But for sure, the Xiaomi 13 Ultra has a faster shutter speed, especially when it comes to fast moving subjects like my dog, where the Mate 60 Pro more often uh, you just have a blurry picture because yeah, the processing and shutter speed and I don't know what's what's going on that the processing I think is so slow that it doesn't keep up with my dog or my baby even. So yeah. That's it. Wait a second, where are the portraits? Here are the portraits in its dedicated category. Yes, some portrait shots makes the video longer, but we have some portrait shots here. On the left, we see the Xiaomi 13 Ultra's default mode. On the right, the Mate 60 Pro's default mode. Xiaomi 13 Ultra, 3.2 times zoom is possible. And Mate 60 Pro, 3.5 times zoom is possible. You are, Timmy, 3.5 times zoom. You're also there in the portrait shot. Wait a second. First of all, we can see a bit of HDR effect going on here on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra and the cutout is not well done. As you can see here, my fingers are a bit cut out as well and something here in the background is not cut out. And my face is a bit soft. Usually it's like yeah, a bit of a compliment not to have it too sharp, but the Mate 60 Pro is a lot sharper. And I think it's artificially sharpening things up, especially with my eyes. I'm not sure what I have in my eyes. Then maybe it's a reflection of something. 
but it looks a bit weird but the cutout it's a lot better there as you can see uh, sometimes there's a mistake as well but it's a lot better than on the uh, Xiaomi 13 Ultra and when we take a look at the dedicated uh, portrait filter because we have lots of filters on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra this is a dedicated filter it's doing a lot better job as you can see here it's first of all adding vignetting but also the cutout is a bit better as you can see here at least the background is completely blown out uh, blurred out and the foreground is a bit sharper it's still not competing against the Mate 60 Pro but now it's I, I think it's a matter of taste and we can also go at two times zoom which looks like this on both 50 millimeter 50 millimeter I think maybe 52 millimeters on the Mate 60 Pro they're, they're cropping in a little bit is it 54 millimeters actually they're cropping in always a little bit so two times zoom is 54 millimeters here and again we have a bit of more contrasty and warmer look on the Mate 60 Pro the Xiaomi 13 Ultra this vignetting kind of look but nice and sharp it's a crop on the main sensor on both and here yeah you decide which one is better here i think we have a bit of more sharpness again on the mate 60 pro added though and i think it's a bit artificial and i like the colors a little bit more with the brightened uh, up face on the xiaomi 13 ultra which is a little, little bit better also i like the styling of the xiaomi leica look which is pretty fine indeed now the dog he was sleepy a bit uh, this is now again at the three and three and a half times uh, portrait mode as you can see here i'm a bit close up with the mate 60 pro sharpness is there and here as well sharpness is there but a little bit of noise going on on the xiaomi 13 ultra already as you can see here where here the mate 60 pro doesn't have so much noise but it's smoothening things out a little bit so there's mm, a bit softer than on the xiaomi 13 ultra for um sure otherwise here another portrait shot with objects it's also possible as you can see here this is now 35 millimeter on the xiaomi 13 ultra which you can choose as a portrait mode uh, and on the mate 60 pro i'm using the one times to crop into 1.2 times and this is roughly also now you can see it's that it's listening up 33 millimeters but it's almost 35 millimeters as well because it's like somewhere 1.23 or 4 um, times crop basically on the main sensor and uh, when we can uh, take a look at the background blur you can see both very interesting but i think that the mate 60 pro's uh, sensor difference is showing up here again you can see that the eye of the little pick here is in focus where the xiaomi 13 ultra has it autofocus already the autofocus area is more pronounced um, than on the mate 60 pro yes it is also doing some artificial stuff there but also the sensor size is playing a big role there and you can see definitely down here below where you cannot really see what this is and here you can see ah it's a little lego uh, stones there on the mate 60 pro so these are the portrait shots which one do you think is better i personally like the xiaomi 13 ultra a little bit more here even though the mate 60 pros three and a half times zoom is a lot sharper well, i think we start off with the mate 60 pro by the way i'm using the internal mics it's pretty quiet here because it's night time standing under the lights here right now and let's walk into the dark to see how it handles this also with the lights in the background and then of course internal microphones how good are they picking up my voice and now i'm standing in the dark how's my face looking so the the light is illuminating my face a little bit and how's the background looking like do we have a lot of noise how was the stabilization especially when i'm walking around is the stabilization a little bit bumpy still you can see some wavery shit that uh, happens with uh, nighttime videos and i'm walking towards the light i'm understanding under the light how is my face illuminated do we have lots and lots of shadows here how does it look like and now I'm using the Xiaomi 13 Ultra and this has something very special. It has 4K night video mode at 24 frames per second. So it's illuminating the whole scene a little bit more. I'm standing like almost right under the lamp here, the light, and uh, walking towards the darkness right now. Listen to the microphones. How good are the microphones here? I think I have the uh, suppression of uh, wind noises or noise filter turned on right now. Otherwise, uh, yeah, you will probably hear me a bit more artificial otherwise not and yeah putting myself like the light shining on my face how does it look like how good is the background how good is the stabilization this one is a pretty night mode that we have here on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra so whenever the phone has a special night mode I'm using it because this is probably the best that you can get with this smartphone so what do you think about the Xiaomi 13 Ultra here standing right directly under the light how's my face illuminated is it in the dark or not 
nighttime photos and here we can see that we have a brighter exposure on the Mate 60 Pro with its main camera sensor and also a bit more contrasty look on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. Xiaomi 13 Ultra a bit wider because it's taking the photos at 23 millimeters where the Mate 60 Pro is cropping into 27 millimeters like in daylight. When we take a look at the image itself both have the same kind of uh, white balance which is quite interesting so a bit of like greenish kind of tint there and when it comes to detail levels we can clearly see we have the winner here the xiaomi 13 ultra that handles the light and hdr a lot better you can see the prices are clearly readable where here it is um, a bit of a mess on the mate 60 pro with over editing trying to get things a little bit better there like for example the front car a little bit more illuminated so a bit raised of exposure here where the Xiaomi 13 Ultra doesn't have this is also trying to make the license plate readable where on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra you cannot and uh, the rest is basically the same you can see slight overexposures there on the uh, Mate 60 Pro which are not there on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra so yes the main sensor of the Xiaomi 13 Ultra is better than the Mate 60 Pros at night time. What surprised me a little bit is the 3.2 or 3.5 times zoom lens because here I think the Xiaomi 13 Ultra is falling a little bit behind the Mate 60 Pro with processing. First of all not behind in terms of colors because colors here color accuracy is on point with the Xiaomi 13 Ultra with the Mate 60 Pro yeah I'm not sure what's going on with the red here it's not so orangey it was like this dark kind of red that we see on the Xiaomi. What we can see here is clearly that the Mate 60 Pro has some heavy algorithm to sharpen up text which is like soft here on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra so we choose your poison which one do we prefer in terms of sharpness. I think that the uh, Xiaomi 13 Ultra looks a bit more natural where the Mate 60 Pro looks a bit processed here and there and when it comes to zooming in further like for example the 10 times zoom then surprisingly also the Mate 60 Pro has good algorithms and gets things a little bit sharper especially this one yeah, magazine that you can see here in the background you can clearly read it here on the Mate 60 Pro it is heavily edited uh, but it's very soft here on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra so which one do you prefer? The foreground here as well you can see how much less processed it looks on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. It's not 100% sharp uh, but the Mate 60 Pro looks a little bit like too sharp and up too processed. So which one do you like here more? I have to say that I do, I'm not a fan of this too processed kind of look but I can understand why they're doing it to make things a little bit yeah, easier to read for example and here as well but yeah the Xiaomi 13 Ultra is not like completely unreadable or unusable here it's just a bit softer but more realistic in a way or not so heavily edited doesn't look so much like a smartphone photo I have to say so this is why I prefer the Xiaomi 13 Ultra a little bit more but you can write down in the comment section which one you prefer a bit more uh, in this uh, kind of scenario and do you zoom even in into zoom in shots or are you just taking in the shot like it is. Uh, ultra wide angle pretty interesting because we can see we have I think a little bit of a better um, processing on the Mate 60 Pro not so much noise there's a bit of noise going on in the Xiaomi 13 Ultra already here uh, up above and the uh, Mate 60 Pro actually yeah, also has some noise there. So it's not the best at all there. It still has this like processing that we know on the Mate 60 Pro and the Xiaomi 13 Ultra is a bit softer overall. I think HDR may be a bit better here on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra in this case. But when it comes to sharpness overall, like especially in the center, I expect it to be a bit sharper. Yes, it is looking a little bit over processed maybe on the Mate 60 Pro but not so much as on the uh, zoomed in shots. So here I think if they made the processing and sharpening things up the right amount where the Xiaomi 13 Ultra is just a little bit too soft. A little bit of sharpening couldn't help, uh, would help here. And yeah, the 12 versus 13 millimeter is also like come into play here. Here you can see clearly the car much clearer than on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra and the same goes for the snack shop there and the signs and so on much much clearer. This is why I think yes here the Mate 60 Pro still has an edge even though the HDR looks a bit more impressive on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. Last but not least selfies and yeah here you can see also clearly already Xiaomi 13 Ultra has some kind of haze going on. It's a bit like brightened up somehow. It looks like the brightness slider has been turned up for some reason where the Mate 60 Pro has this like blacks that should be black. Otherwise 32 versus uh, this 12 uh, what is it, 12 or 13 megapixels on the Mate 60 Pro. Mate 60 Pro is winning even if I zoom out a little 
bit on the 32 megapixel image you can clearly see yes the wind goes to the mate 60 pro it's a bit warmer it's not so cool down here like on the xiaomi 13 ultra and also just look at the background and you know exactly that uh, we have a better sensor here on the mate 60 pro or better uh, processing because hdr looks better and uh, yeah it is simply not overblown here in the background such things as little things that you notice there so the mate 60 pro definitely has the better selfie cam what do you think write it down in the comments here we can see the scores of the mate 60 pro and the xiaomi 13 ultra main camera yes the sensor is bigger larger better bokeh and better behaving at night time this is why the main camera photo quality has 4.8 for the xiaomi 13 ultra and 4.6 only for the mate 60 pro when it comes to the ultra wide angle overall i would give the mate 60 pro the edge here because we have a sharper picture all over the place it's 13 millimeters yes the xiaomi 13 ultra is a bit wider but it has some problems with sharpness it's a bit too soft at uh, certain points and this is something that is a little bit unforgivable you just one millimeter difference and the uh, processing the sharpness maybe sometimes even over sharpening but usually the sharpening is spot on on the huawei mate 60 pro especially at daylight at night time it gets a bit worse but still i would give the edge to the huawei mate 60 pro when it comes to zoom camera photo quality i have to give the xiaomi the win and this is only because of the reach because i think at night time the processing on the huawei mate 60 pro is making the the, the photos look appeal a bit more but what the Xiaomi 13 Ultra achieves with the zoom camera quality is like not this over processed kind of look so it's still getting closer up but it's not over sharpened so much and it looks more natural and it has this long reach thanks to the five times optical zoom it can go 10 times without any issues and you can see especially in daylight that the xiaomi 13 ultra just beats the mate 60 pro there especially when it comes to the long zoom ranges video camera quality is basically the same i don't have much that i can complain about um, there's a slight edge maybe on the Huawei Mate 60 Pro there uh, with colors uh, that I think I saw because it's a bit warmed up there and I think the consistency of all the cameras and switching between all the cameras is slightly better. You can see sometimes when I'm switching to the ultra wide on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra that there's like some three or two th or three frames that have completely different kind of um, yeah, image and then it goes to the ultra wide angle so it's a slight win there for the huawei mate 60 pro autofocus is basically the same same performance in terms of autofocus i hit or miss i don't see much of a difference sometimes uh, one is better than the other but this is uh, like normal front cam i think there's no competition the front cam on the xiaomi 13 ultra especially when it comes to video recording is bad the uh, huawei mate 60 pro is much much better but also so much sharper in daylight in night time so much better um, kind of colors usually at night in in daytime you can still argue that the colors might be a bit more right on the xiaomi 13 ultra or more pleasing to the eye but overall i think the front camera is a clear win to the huawei mate 60 pro as long as xiaomi is not changing its algorithm somehow because i think the sensor can get a little bit better there as well uh, camera ui is uh, better on the xiaomi 13 ultra for sure you have so many things that you can configure in it you have uh, zebras i think you have uh, focus peaking you have the possibility to even choose the sharpening uh, later on you have various different profiles so it is slightly better in this regard we have simply more settings there on the xiaomi 13 ultra to play around with and in terms of extra features i think the huawei mate 60 pro wins again it is the same as with the magic 5 pro it's just simply the nm card is giving you so much more flexibility to record more longer prolonged sessions and uh, to edit stuff and uh, it's just really really helpful to have uh, this kind of a setting there and in total you can see they're very very close 4.435 and 4.375 so how does it look like in the ranking list right now so here's my ranking you can see the huawei mate 60 pro is still number one but we have at number four already the xiaomi 13 ultra which is very very good you can see it has 
in the top four where I have many many Huawei phones but it has the best rating when it comes to the main camera so if you shoot lots of main camera sh footage get the Xiaomi 13 Ultra it's really really good the ultra wide angle not so much the zoom however is a good quality zoom as well you have the possibility to zoom in you have the possibility to create wonderful portrait shots as you saw already and video recording quality is top notch autofocus is top notch front cam not so much like i said camera ui is top notch and um, the extra features are okay so yeah it is definitely something uh, to brag about the xiaomi 13 ultra it falls a bit apart as you can see here with the ultra wide angle where the other huawei's are a little bit better and zoom camera they're not so far off at least when it comes to up to 10 times zoom they're very very close but they are way better in terms of front facing camera and this is why they are ranked higher here you can see uh, this uh, clearly here why the huawei devices are ranked higher here because i'm not taking only the main camera lens but if the main camera lens is what you want you want the best one of the best ones you get definitely the xiaomi 13 ultra otherwise the huawei mate 60 pro has the best complete camera package currently to date of all the camera smartphone that i tested so what do you think that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye